Hello everyone, it's Jim Shell here with Structure Fishing. I've been dying to get on my hands on the uh, new uh, app here from Navionics, Sonar Charts Live. According to the website, Sonar Charts Live will let you go out on the water with the Vexilar T-Box transducer, which will Wi-Fi to your phone or tablet, and you'll be able to create live contour maps as you're fishing and I'm going to show you that uh, uh, in just a few minutes here. Um, very excited about this app. Uh, if you're a structure fisherman like myself here, uh, going on these small lakes that are unmapped and being able to uh, cruise the lake and map the lake uh, while you're on the water fishing and show you the structures is just uh, unbelievable. Uh, great, uh, it's great stuff here. Uh, first off, um, I have a tablet. I'm showing this video is on my phone. I bought a tablet, a 10 inch tablet. And if you buy a tablet to run this, use this on, uh, you want to make sure that the GPS on that tablet will work independent of cellular coverage or Wi Fi. And I'm sure people are going to ask the tablet I went out and purchased is an ASUS Memo Pad Model ME302C. And that has a GPS that will work independent with um, Wi-Fi. It will not need Wi-Fi or cellular service. Um, but uh, I ended up recording it on my phone because my phone is Android 5.0 and it has a, a great phone video recorder which is not available on anything lower than Android 5.0. My tablet I believe is 4.3 or 4.4. .4. Uh, so the video I shot uh, is on my phone. Uh, but right off the box, I'm going to say, wow, this thing is great. Uh, first thing you have to do is connect your Vexilar sonar phone to your phone or your tablet and open up the Vexilar app. If you're doing it for the first time, um, the uh, default password is 12345678. Once you enter that, <clears throat> hit start, set up successful. I open up the Vexlar app to make sure that it's working. Here it is. Close it out. And now I open up my Navionics boating app here. And there weren't any instructions for the Sonar Charts Live, so I wasn't sure what to expect here. But after my Navionics app opened up on me, you can see here that, uh, well, first off, it, it's a split screen. And uh, I just uh, kept on pushing the screen, uh, and after a few seconds here, I was able to go full screen on the Navionics app, which gave me access to my uh, uh, to set my GPS location accurately here. And also, you got the Navionics scroll out menu, which will show governor chart, government charts, Navionics charts, sonar logs, and then on top there, it's, you had an option for Sonar Live. <coughs> and there it is. Um, I'm Fast forwarding this video, uh, time lapse here, um, but it took me about, this lake, round lake here is about 200 acres, and it took me uh, about one hour to uh, map the whole lake here. I was on average speed here, I was going about six to uh, seven miles an hour, I'm going a little faster there, but on average I was going around six to seven miles an hour. And what Sonar Charts Live does, it creates a new layer above the existing Navionics layer or the Sonar Charts layer. Um, it had, I tried going on government, uh, government charts and it won't work. You have to be on Navionics layer or Sonar Charts layer and then activate the Sonar uh, Charts Live button. And then it creates a new layer on top of the existing map. And you can see here, uh, the thing about the Sonar Live, it appears that it only records in five foot contours. This lake is about 25 feet deep, so I had a 5, 10, 15, and a 20-foot contour. Um, I'm not sure if uh, I was hoping that this thing would record in HD. In my opinion, HD is 1-foot contours, but it was going in 5-foot contours. But uh, either way, um, to be able to chart a lake with 5-foot contours um, is still going to give you a pretty good idea as to what's out there and you know what, where your structure situations are. Um, like I say, I fast forward the time lapse on here. Um, you'll note my depths in the upper right hand corner there. That's off. It was recording correctly, but I must have had a setting wrong somewhere. It was off by about seven feet. So if I was 10 feet of water, it was actually 17 feet of water. 
I think that was just a setting that got messed up on my phone. But the re actual recorded depths on the map are correct. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. The only thing on here you'll notice is it's drawing the new Sonar Charts live layer over the existing layer. As it's going over that part of the lake, that uh, old layer gets replaced with a new layer. But the depths on that old layer stay on. Um, that's a little bit annoying. I'm not sure if that's a bug in the program or what, but you can see, you notice that the depths from the old layer remain on there. So uh, I'm not sure what that is. Um, I uh, sent an email in to Avionics, let them know about that. I have not heard back. When I do, I'll let everybody know. But uh, either way, I'm very impressed with this Sonar Charts Live. Um, once again, I had the ability to go out on a body of water and create these maps instantly. Uh, is amazing. Uh, there's so many small lakes I fish that have not been mapped yet. So uh, I can go out there and uh, you know, in a matter of an hour, I can cruise the lake, create my map, and uh, know where to spend my time fishing on the water here. So uh, my first impression of Sonar Charts Live is I love it. Um, it's a fantastic product, and the tablet cost me two hundred dollars. The Vexilar uh, transducer T box cost me one hundred and fifty. The uh, Navionics app is roughly twenty, thirty dollars. So for uh, under uh, uh, four hundred dollars, you've got an excellent uh, uh, chart plotter uh, uh, depth finder here. Uh, fantastic app uh, program here, and I will be doing a uh, follow-up uh, review on this in a few more weeks. Thanks.